Hello, good morning, my people. Happy second Sunday of the month of September. Oh, we had a beautiful week and we want to thank God for all God did for us during the past week. And we are here to glorify and thank God for his mercy for everything he did for us. So I bring you the word of God, which is coming from the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10. And I will be reading from verse 30. And when we go through, I will read to maybe to God leads me. Then you have understanding through this word of God. And it says in chapter 30, uh, verse 30, he said, And Cornelius said, Four days ago I was fasting until this hour, and at the ninth hour I prayed in my house, and behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing. And said Cornelius, Thy prayer is heard, and thy arms are heard in remembrance in the sight of God. Send therefore to Joppa, and call Hita, Simon, whose surname is Peter. He is lodged in the house of one Simon, a turner by the seaside, who, when he cometh, shall speak unto thee. 33 say, Immediately therefore I sent to thee, and thou hast well done that thou art come. Now therefore are we all here present before God, to hear all things that are commanded thee of God. That's God, that's before God, to hear all things that are commanded thee of God. And then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons or man. But in every nation, he that feareth him and walketh righteousness is accepted with him. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, that word I say, yea, no, which was published throughout all Judah and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. And we are witness of all things which he did, both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and handed, hanged on a tree. Him God raised up the third day and showed him openly, not to all the people, but unto witnesses, chosen before God. Even to us who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that it is he which was ordained of God to be the judge of quick and dead. 43 says, To him give all the prophets witness that through his name whosoever believeth in him shall receive remissions of sins whosoever believeth in him shall receive remissions of sin and 44 said while peter yet spake this to us the holy ghost fell on him fell on all them which had the word so this is the word of god for you for today and this is trying to let us know how Peter perceived God's power, perceived God's anointing, perceived God's truth, truth that made him to know that God is not respected of any man or woman. 
on the face of this earth. He made Peter, God made Peter to understand that he is the higher caller, the higher caller and the higher ordainer of any man on the face of this earth, which Peter believed and feared him. And he knew that God is a spirit. God is somebody that you have to know how you place your life when you are under God's will. He made the children of the Israelites to know that preaching peace by Jesus Christ is the number one ordained thing to receive in the body through spirituality that the Holy Ghost will fall upon you when you receive Christ. The Holy Ghost will fall upon you when you receive this Jesus who died on the cross of Nazareth for our sins. That is why he said in his word, to him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remissions of sins. That's every sinful sin that you have committed, being you a prophet, being you a pastor, being you a bishop, being you a church goer, being you a singer, being you an artist, being you anything. God has a way of removing any sin that you have committed. Even if you are not a church goer, you serve God, but you don't go to church. God has a way of removing every sin that you have committed in secret. God has a way in removing anything that will cause you bound, that will not make you to move, move forward. God has a way of dealing of dealing with those things in your life. And he will bring you into light, into his power, into his presence, into his anointing that will project a lot of things that will make you. So how do you relate with God? Because God is a God that cleans us from every sinful sin. God is the one that cleans us from everything that we have committed. He knows how to wash us away from those sinful acts and from those sinful things. How do you present yourself when you gain this victory of sin? When you gain this victory, coming out from sin, a sin that you never believe that you will come out of and you never believe that God will forgive you. God forgives and he brings us closer to him and he will build us, he will mold us, he will use us as an example to teach the world that there is no sin that God cannot wash away except you don't want to be repentant except you don't want to accept him into your life but when you accept god into your life and you acknowledge him into your life then every other thing will fall into places in your life in the mighty name of jesus so acknowledge this good god acknowledge him in your life acknowledge him in your spirit acknowledge him to build you up so that you will gain victory at last in Jesus name so that God will see his word and his spirit dwelling in you in Jesus name so do have a wonderful blessed Sunday today and make sure you go and worship God in truth and the spirit and make sure you derive joy in doing good and make your way plain in the sight of God and God will continue to bless you and continue to uplift you and as we enter into this week God will bless you more and more in Jesus name God bless you thank you and God bless you
God bless you. In Jesus' name, stay blessed.